Hello everybody, welcome to my newest uh, DVD update. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. Uh, approximately about a month. Uh, I don't have that many here. I am expecting one on the way. It's a movie called Scum, which I will have in my next update. Because I'm working now again, I will finally actually have money to buy some DVDs. But despite that, um, the ones I got, I'm really happy with. So, it's really cool though. Alright, the first one is, it's a CD-DVD combination. It's uh, Life of Agony, River Runs Again, complete. Uh, I think they actually released the uh, DVD by itself, and I think the CD is by itself, but they have this they have this one out there. Uh, it has both, CD, both live CDs and live DVD with it. This is actually when uh, Life of Agony went, uh, when they reunited and went back on tour again, and then they eventually put out a new album, I think in like 2004, 2005. But they got reunited in 2003. It uh, comes with the two discs and the DVD. I got it for three dollars at a uh, rummage sale. I didn't think I would find anything there, and I went in there and uh, started looking. And they had a few DVDs there, and a lot of them were all of them were music ones, except for one NASCAR one. They had like this, Slipknot, Molly Crew, um, Skid Row. But of course, I'm a huge At Life Agony fan, so I picked up this. Very cool if you're an At Life Agony fan. I mean, they have, they play a lot of their hits. Um, they play a lot of stuff off River Runs at Red album, which is, in my opinion, the favorite, my favorite album of theirs. Uh, the next one is, I had a lot of trouble about this one, but it was uh, Cat in the Brain. Uh, this is the Grindhouse uh, releasings edition of it, and Box Office Spectacles. Uh, I wanted to have like the lenticular cover, it sucks that I don't, but I'm not going through the bullshit hassle to try to find that one. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this movie, a lot of people just don't really like it, they don't really care for it. It is, I would call it a more of a Gorehounds uh, favorite more than a, a Giallo like some of his movies have been. But, uh, I just really like the gore effects in this movie, the overall movie was great. It, it kind of was his way of saying fuck you to all the, uh, to like, the, like people like the MPAA and, uh, and all the, and all the bullshit, like, bigger mainstream companies, uh, and directors and whatnot. Uh, it is like the two discs, mine set up, most of them. Uh, the discs look very cool, the booklet's very cool. Um, if you're a Lucha Fulch fan, definitely pick this up. Uh, I wouldn't really suggest it to too many people other than Gorehounds will absolutely love this. Which I, I don't mind a good like movie that's filled with gore, more the gore than anything else. But it, it's very cool. Lucio Falci does great in it. Um, next one is, I have not seen this yet, I can't believe I still have not watched it and I've had it for a couple weeks now. It is uh, Eating Raul, which I picked up at uh, Big Lots for three bucks. Uh, this one is out of print, but you can get it, still get it fairly cheap. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely need to check to watch this. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. And I think I've seen it before because I remember when I was younger, I, I seen that cover at like the movie store. It pretty much practically was the same one. And they had this other one. I can, don't know the name of it. I wish I did. It had like a toothbrush. It has some like dead on top of it, and it's like it's like they're piercing their body. I think that was on the cover, but I really got to see that one. This next one I actually picked up. I already own it, but I figured what the hell I found this edition of it, so I decided to get it, and I wanted this edition for a long time. It's like seven bucks. It's uh, the Reservoir Dogs 15th anniversary edition, in, like the metal tin. Uh, just simply pop off the top, and then uh, take this part out, and it looks like a book of matches. It says, Home of the Big Kona Burger, and it's Uncle Bob's Pancake House, where they met up at in the movie. And there's the discs. Very, very cool. It's supposed to, it actually looks like a, inside of a matchbook. Uh, I haven't watched this version of it yet. I know there's pretty much not really any difference between them. But I really like the whole setup on it. It's a little bigger than a normal DVD, like taller-wise and width-wise. But it's awesome. So... Next one is uh, got for four bucks at CD Warehouse. Uh, it's called The Dead Next Door. I was told recently if I liked that movie Retarded, which I did a review of, 
then I would like this because I, I really dig these type of films. Uh, very low budget and uh, they kind of uh, uh, it's kind of hard to describe. Like they'll, like they'll talk about like George Romero's movies and that kind of stuff. Very, very cool. This next one I also did a review on. Well, I did a review on this one, not the last one. Uh, was Nail Gun Massacre. I paid it like 11 for it at a CD Warehouse also. I had to replace the case because the case was broken when I got it. But it's uh, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, most people don't like it. I think it's a fun movie. It, it, don't take it. You're not gonna. It's it's hard to really. If you take it seriously, this is what I'm gonna put it. If you put take it seriously, you're gonna miss out on all the fun of the movie. There's bad one-liners. There's good one-liners. There. It it's goofy, but it's fucking awesome. It's it's just a fun movie to watch. A lot of you guys are shit on it and hate it, but I I actually enjoyed it. Uh, next one I got for three bucks at uh, Big Lots also is uh, 976 Evil. I found a bunch of movies there when I was at Big Lots because they had ton, but this is the actual only one I found that I actually wanted. Uh, I remember seeing this years ago, and uh, in ways this picture on the back reminds me of uh, Bill Mosley when he was uh, Chop Top in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Uh, the disc is pretty basic. Looks like the was it was like cover art. Uh, um, I actually I took in, uh, ran out of uh, memory on my camera, but uh, yeah. Oh, one last thing I'm gonna say. I, have, I actually have to say about this. It's really cool because Robert England directs this, so it's very very cool. Next one I also did a review on, but that's on this channel. It was uh, Heavy Metal in Baghdad. Very cool one. If you get a chance to check out my review on it, this is definitely worth buying. I got it for fairly cheap off of eBay. I, I, mean, I think I paid like 99 cents for it and like three dollars shipping, or maybe two dollars at most for it. Um, brand new. Uh, so you the disc and whatnot. Very cool. It goes perfect with uh, if you have the. Uh, uh, it's uh well actually it's not out yet on DVD. I don't think it is. It's called Global Metal. It's very very cool. Like documentary about uh, bands from all over the world that you normally wouldn't find out there was heavy metal bands from. This last one, I actually was really happy of the deal I got on this. Uh, I paid a little under five bucks for this and free shipping. And it's uh, Superman the movie. It's the four disc set. It has on disc one. It has uh, uh, new on DVD, night, original 1978 theatrical movie with soundtrack remastered and. Uh, Dolby Digital 5.1. Disc 2 has 2000 Expanded Edition movie with commentary by Richard Donner and creative consultant. I can't say that guy's name properly. And uh, music only audio track. Disc 3 has three documentaries, um, restored scenes, screen tests, audio only bonus, additional music cues. Uh, disc 4 has vintage TV special, making of Superman the movie, 1951. Movie Superman and Mole Men starring George Reeves and uh, nine of the studio cartoons. I don't know, it just has a ton of stuff on it. It's very, very cool. Uh, if you are a Superman fan, pick this one up. Even if you already have uh, that one disc of it, or even if you have the box set of it, I don't think the box set even comes with this as this much stuff. Uh, just show you the inside of it real quick. This is the movies. I guess on the outside it says, uh, disc one, disc two, the movies, and hands, of course. And then it has, uh, disc three and four, which is special features, and it says the Superman Archive. Uh, where's the discs? Um, yeah, if you're a Superman fan, definitely pick these up. Now my Superman collection, uh, is complete, and I got actually all my Supermans for really good prices. Uh, the second Superman with the Richard Donner cut is really badass. Um, and uh, I got the two disc, I remember off of eBay, brand new unopened two disc of the uh, Superman Returns, I think it's called, the last Superman that they made, for like two bucks. Uh, 
But yeah, I, and and this is the thing. I'm not the hugest Superman fan, but I love. I, I do like the movies. Um, I prefer Batman a little bit more. I do like the Batman movies a little more, which I wish I had the two sets of those, which I will eventually get. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I hopefully will within like next month. I have a lot more to show you guys. Um, you guys take it easy. All right, bye.